William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can...
thank God you are here. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy. She has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. She picked some here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Connor, anything yet? Thank you so much, Kona. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing there, and the bear just came charging at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time now. I read that evening primrose encourages fertility. I'm sorry, this is not a proper conversation given the circumstance. Prudence! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. Once again. Hello, Connor. Hello. Is something the matter? No, nothing that need worry you. I would not pry, but please know that if there was anything I could do to help, I would. It's all right. Connor already knows half of it. As you know, we've been trying to have a child, Connor, for a long time. Thus far, we have not been blessed even once. It takes its toll after a time. You must not force such things. Nature will grant you with the young one when the time is right. We hope you're right, Connor. At the very least, we are at peace here.
find them. Stop! I didn't mean it. What's the trouble, Connor? So you're here past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Oh, the women. Is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't they need to? Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's hurt, I swear you'll be the one here. I may set you straight.
go right. There's no need for this. Yeah, he's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just needs some time, is all. Not angry, Godfrey? Me? <laughs> Not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! Ah, I was just telling Lance how I can set that calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern. What's your pleasure today?
So, what can I do for you, Mania? ぜねあんがじゃでか。でもいいなんだね、こっちやじゃ、こっち。いや、あれ。あ、いや、あれ、てさ、日本あれ。おんなやわね、とかとんね。おんなやわね、とかさ、エゾラジ。ここでもさ
You just watch me take... Thank you, my friend. They had a little too much beer and didn't like the sound of my voice. I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. Where are you from? North of here. Province de Quebec. And what brings you to Boston? I am a miner by trade, but it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting was fate. I hail from a village just a few miles north of here. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. I'll come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? What a relief. You came. <laughs> Allow me to... to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah! You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Keep going! Keep going! Redcoats, what a... 
What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. To the left, Connor! Yes! This is it! This is the way! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it. You have got the right place. Let everyone know that the regulars marched for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. Connor. Keep going. This way, Connor. Be on the lookout for red coats. Go left up here. This is it! This is the way! To the left, Connor! Let us continue the search on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! This is it! This is the way! To the right, Connor! To the right! Be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it. You have got the right place. The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Get them! Gotta shake those red coats! Find 
a way to get rid of them, Connor. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Keep going! Yes! This is it! This is the way! Let us continue the search on foot. You have got the right place. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... Put on some trousers. At once. Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Coats are coming. Aye, Sir Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word.
So, what can I do for you, Mimir? to buy or sell? Damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. We will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, Order. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Go on now! Lads. Help! What's happening? Go 
Get out! Everyone run! They're taking prisoners! Run! They've taken my brother and poor old Robert! We need to do something! Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. But why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I'm enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Make ready.
for the sick. Fire! Prepare yourselves. Fire now! Hold fire! Fire now! Wait for the signal! Open fire. Wait for the signal. Wait for the signal. Shoot. Wait for the signal. Prepare yourself. Fire! a true monster to do something like this at least they're gone i should have struck when i had the chance do you know where pitcairn could have gone back into the withered bosom of the british no doubt so that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity i need to find him every day i wait more will suffer chin up friend many who should have died today now live because of you and what of them we do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Mm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is no pay, man better sir, suited I to beg the leave to assure really? the Congress that I as no pecuniary seven. consideration could have Charles prevented me Lee. to have accepted this arduous employment at the do expense I know of my you? domestic ease I would not and expect happiness. You to remember. I do not Come, wish to make any profit I, want you to from meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those like that, I doubt not they the will discharge, need and that is all I desire. Now, Connor. Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. 
I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Nah, I think it was the consumption. Uh, I took a heavy toll throughout that village about five or six years ago, as I recall. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. and state your business! I'm looking for Israel Putnam. 
On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Breed. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Redcoats rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't. I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. He should be building on Bunker Hill. Breed is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! Our orders came from men so divorced from the situation, we are compelled by reason to employ our own faculties to make a proper determination. Words that I can understand, even half that nonsense you just uttered. What's not to understand? I'm trying to ensure our victory. What would you know about victory? I killed the sea wolf in her den armed with only a knife. I escaped the Kanawaga Indians who sought to burn me alive. And I was the sole survivor of a shipwreck during the Battle of Havana. So you will excuse me if I choose not to follow your advice.
Higher numbers, you say. Better weapons, better training. But I do not fear. And neither should you. For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion. We believe. So maintain vigilance. Conserve your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight. And above all else, men, do not fire until you see the white of their eyes. I'll be damned. You did it. That was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. And what of Pitcairn? He's left Boston. As I said, he would. And set up camp on Moulton Hill. There's no good way to get out of it. Not with that maelstrom blowing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to fit their ranks. There is no time. I will have the chance of direct approach. That's twice today you propose the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because you're mad as a mark here, son. I expect an apology on my return.
To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve, you meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. You put an end to that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do not think we ask the same question of the British. These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. And we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now because of that. Sa hon ju gärna det ni har tänat om det sett att gå. Det ni har ni jag har tänat om det sett att gå. General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. 